you said that uh, happiness comes from being happy in the same moment that you're not expecting anything else but you're No, no, I didn't say such things. <laughs> Did I say such things? If you're not expecting anything else, you'll be happy. So you said if you're okay with the moment, then you're happy. I'm not saying that. I'm asking you, whatever happens to you, happiness or misery, when does it happen to you? In this moment, isn't it? Have you ever experienced anything else? No. No. But the, 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 the kind of world we live in, there's always been No, no. We all live in the same world. I know they say I'm an alien in America, but <laughs> you, you also started believing that I could be an alien? No, then I also live in the same world. Now, is it true that anything that you have to experience can happen only in this moment? Is it true? Is it my philosophy? Then don't say I said. It is so, isn't it? Before I came, it was so. Before you came, it was so, isn't it? If you have to experience anything, joy or misery can happen only in this moment, yes? And the next step is, is this moment inevitable or is it changeable? Inevitable. inevitable. And inevitability is not a bondage, it is your freedom because only because this moment is inevitable, on the stability of this moment, creation has happened, isn't it? I want you to look at this. Now creation is possible here only because this one moment is absolutely stable, unchangeable. That's why creation is on. If this moment was not stable, where would the creation be? So it is not an idea, it is the basis of your existence. The inevitability of this moment is not a philosophy or an idea, it is the fundamental on which the creation has happened. Now, you are also a small part of creation. The only way you can know life is through this moment, yes? And it is inevitable. Don't ask me questions, I want you to look at this. Is this moment inevitable now? Don't think of what we spoke there. Is right now leave all that. Is this one inevitable? The moment you see it's inevitable, what is happening within you, acceptance or resistance? This is a natural acceptance. Once there is a natural acceptance of what is there right now, what is your experience? I want you to experiment and see. Don't believe the nonsense that I speak. Do not believe the nonsense that I speak. You just live in a state of acceptance moment to moment, being conscious of this. Let us see what happens to you. Let us see what happens to you really in terms of experience. If good things happens to you, let us live in the moment. If bad things happen to you, let us see how to run away from the moment. Can you run away? <laughs> that's all there is. That's all there is and that's everything. That's not a limitation. That's your freedom. You need to understand this. This is how life is structured. What you think are opposites are built into each other. That is the beauty of life. Right now, life and death, you see them as opposites, isn't it? You start chanting within yourself, I don't want to die, I don't want to die, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. It is not that you won't die, it is just that you won't live. Isn't it so? Yes or no? When you step out of your house, in some way you are making a statement, it's all right if I die, I don't want to die today. But it's all right if I die. That's why you're stepping out of the house, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes. I don't want to die, I don't want to die. Death will not be avoided, only life will be avoided, isn't it? So this is how life is. It's all one inside the other. The large and the small are one inside the other. This is not a philosophy, this is a scientific fact today. Today it is a scientific fact, time and space is the creation of your mind. There is no such thing as time and space. What is big and what is small is your idea, it is not a reality. So, this moment is not a tiny speck, 
This moment is eternity. Eternity happens through this moment. Is it so? Yes. Eternally it has been this moment. Isn't it so? So this moment is not small. This moment is not big. This moment is nothing and this moment is everything. That's how life is. Now we will not go into all that to freak you out. That's why I'm giving you a simple tool. Is this moment inevitable? Yes. Really is? Yes. Is it true? Yes. Do you want to live with truth? Yes. Just live with it and see whether it works or not. Right now what you're asking is, does, does truth really work? Okay, let's put it another way. If you have come to this living in Mumbai, you think you're living in another world and you're questioning, will truth really work? No. When you say, in, we are living in this world, Yes, that's what I am saying. When I say Mumbai, I am not talking about a city, I am talking about too many things happening in one place, okay? <laughs> Everybody have their own Mumbai in their own places. Mumbai is the ultimate example of everything, too many things happening on the same place. Wealth and poverty, misery and pleasure, everything happening on the same street side. That's Mumbai, isn't it? So when I say Mumbai, I am not accusing your city. Um, yes, yes, we will come to that, we will come to that, let's go step by step. See, I, I want you to understand the mechanics of your experience. Don't just jump into the emotion of your experience. Look at the mechanics of your experience. See, if you want to drive your car, if you don't know anything about the car also, you just understand how to change the gears or if it's automatic, just sit there. If you know how to turn on a microwave, you can also drive a car. That is, if you are driving at 40 kilometers, 50 kilometers, 60 kilometers, you can manage. Now you want to drive your car at 250 kilometers per hour, now you got to know every damn thing about it. Do you understand? You can't be a driver without knowing the machine, absolutely. Isn't it so? If you want to drive at that point where toppling and staying on is just a question of little more, just one more point of centrifugal or centripetal, you'll be gone. If you want to drive on that edge, then you got to know your damn machine absolutely. Now, if you want to live in Mumbai or Mumbai-like situation where everything is hodgepodge and moving on, you need to know the mechanics of life well. If you want to only live in the quietness of the mountain, maybe, not necessarily, actually in the forest much more is happening than Mumbai, you don't know. You go and live there for three days, then you will see, you sit there, some strange thing will crawl up your pants. <laughs> really? You can't, don't ever believe Forest is a great, great place to meditate. Don't you have such foolish ideas? Go and sit there, in two minutes, somebody is making a home out of your pants. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> and they brought their whole family in. <laughs> I come back, <laughs> you know, uh, I was here about a, a few months ago and I traveled. Before I traveled, I noticed uh, one squirrel somehow slipped into my bedroom. Some little opening happened in the window and one squirrel slipped in. He was doing kitsch, kitsch, kitsch. People said, let's catch him and throw him out. I said, okay. It was a tiny one. I said, okay, little squirrel, why you want to throw him out? Leave him, it's all right. For some time, let him run around. He's not going to bite my bed or anything. I don't have food in my bedroom. What is he going to do? He doesn't eat my books or anything else. It's okay, leave him. And then I come back after a month, there are fifteen, twenty of them. <laughs> He's brought his parents, his uncles, his aunts, everybody. And I see they made their home separately all over the place. I come, have you, I don't know if you've looked at a squirrel close up. They stand up and ask, who the hell are you? <laughs> they look at me, that expression on their faces, who the hell are you to enter our house? I looked at them and said, okay. <laughs> and I thought, okay, let me bear with them for some more time. But they wake up at 3.30 in the morning and they start their business. 
and the family is growing. Then I said, okay, Yavik, these guys, because they're giving me more than making the noise, they look at me like this. <laughs> they're, just, they're just angry that I have walked into their space. So you don't know what it means to live in the forest. You think Mumbai is challenging. Just, I will tell you, go into the forest, survive by yourself for three days. You will see what a challenge it is. Do you understand? Don't believe all those things that they showed you in the movies. The rishis were sitting like this in the jungle. Everything will crawl up all over you if you sit still for ten minutes. Really? Ten minutes you sit still in the forest, people think your nostrils make pretty good home. <laughs> there are people like that there. So it's not challenge only in Mumbai, it's a challenge everywhere. It is just that you think that is a challenge. You ask the people who live in local village, they think the real challenge is living in this village, they want to get away to Mumbai. Why do you think everybody is going to Mumbai? Because people think it's an easy place to live. Isn't it so? From all over the country, from villages, people are running to the city. Why? Because they think it's an easier existence. In their experience, it is so. So, it is not because you're in a certain place. Everywhere, there are situations. Situations, situations, situations. We have not come to the situations yet. I am talking about the moment. Moment is the building block for the situation. Is that so? We're examining the brick. You're already talking about the building. We are looking at the brick. You learn to handle the brick. If you don't learn to place the bricks properly, your building is going to crash on your head. Everybody knows that, isn't it? Yes or no? If you don't understand the material that builds this building, for sure this building is going to crash on your head. What is the big deal about it? So don't go to Mumbai yet, we are in the moment. Is this moment inevitable? Whether you are in Mumbai or on the moon, is this moment inevitable? Just be with that and see, let's see what it does. It will do miracles to you. Mumbai will become your playing field.